everyone, this is Crystal Padoff here with another Pisanki demonstration uh, on a pattern design. What I am going to show today is um, this element right here. The camera looks a little blurry. Let's see if it shows up better here. This right here, this orange and red, this it's an eight-pointed star. Um, it's a little different. I came across this. I don't know where I saw it. I can't remember now. Um, but I thought it looked really cool. And these two eggs, they're, they're mirror image eggs uh, with just black and white. And there's the, the element there. A little, little different. That was actually a happy little accident that uh, when I was doing that pattern on something very small, um, it blobbed on me. And it's like, oh, wow, I like that better. So anyway, I developed that. So I'm going to show you how to draw that on an egg. Now, I have already divided this egg into eight sections. And this is probably my ugliest practice egg I've ever worked on. I'm drawing my lines very darkly using the template. And this one was a division... Um, into four, so I did use the 90, 90, 60, 90, 90, 60. Move those back so they don't roll off my table. Okay. Um, the last couple weeks we had done divisions of three, and while well, you could do the div um, you could do this pattern, this this design element, you could do it on division of three. You can you can do that. It's very adaptable. You can use it in a small border. You can use it as a bigger design, however you like. I think it works best if you do it within some type of a diamond shape, though. So again, I have my egg divided into eight pieces. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a little mark in kind of the center here. And I, if I wanted to, I could be really exact. Um, and do a lot of measuring, which I do on my regular eggs, and it will take me upwards of, you know, maybe two hours to draw out an egg that has a lot of intricacies to it, and I don't think you want to watch me do that on a video. So I've made these marks, and now I'm going to connect them like that. And then here, straight up. And there so I make like a, the little peace sign in each one of those so I'm going to do that in all of these and I hope you can see it's making diamond shapes this is uh, when I draw out the 48 triangle this is the first step that I do, and I do have a series of videos on the 48 triangle pattern if you wanted to watch that on the YouTube channel. Um, so the first step is you divide it in eight sections and then you do this, and then for the 48 triangle you make some extra lines which we are not going to do because I want to use these, it makes 12 diamonds. And again, I can't stress it enough. I'm drawing very, very darkly. Do, do not draw lines this dark on your egg. Unless you're going to dye it a dark color, then you do need to do that. Okay, this one here looks pretty good. So you can see, here's a diamond shape, here's a diamond shape, here's a diamond shape. So you would do the same thing in, in all of these. So you want to first... You know, draw the line like that so your diamond is in four pieces and then you want to divide it into eight sections of pi so your diamond has eight sections of pi and now at this point this is when I usually take my egg and I say okay how did I do that let me see it 
and I, I, I start Creature of Habit in the same spot every time because then I'm making sure I am doing these the same, I guess. They all look the same. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go where this diagonal meets that, and I'm going to draw a line that goes straight down to this line here. So it goes down like that. And I'm going to go to here, and I'm going to draw one that meets up just a, right there, not maybe about a third of the way. Right like that. And turn it straight down. Here, meet up about there. So you draw from the connecting point down to the line, stop and stop. And usually as I'm doing this, I'm counting because there's eight line, little lines I'm drawing. I want to make sure I do all eight. And you have, it's kind of a pinwheel, and you can do different things with it. You could do, um, you could do lines like that in every other, I would do every other one. Um, you could do just little marks like that, you know, make a little swirly thing in there. You could do, you could do lines outside here. You know, you could do wax lines that go like that. You do do that all the way around it. It's kind of a fun thing. I'll show you what that looks like on a completed egg. And you wouldn't necessarily have to draw those all in with a pencil. But that is what I did here. So you can see I had the little lines. And then I did these every other. I did one orange and one dark red. So you can do that. If you want to do something that looks like this, then what I did was I, I started here. I just kind of draw a little triangle inside of it. And this I did, I really did with the Kiska. I didn't do it with a pencil. So I drew that and then I filled that all in with wax. And then what, what you want to make sure though is you always start on the opposite one. You don't want to draw this triangle from here because then you're going to end up with colors the same. So he, I would come over to here and then go down. So you're kind of drawing a little triangle inside the triangle and then filling that in. And I do that all the way around. So that's the eight-pointed star. Practice it on some paper would be a good way to do that. And then you could uh, practice it on just drawing it on a practice egg if you have some. And so here I'm going to do another one. And divide it into the eight. And then again, doing this all the way around the egg, or all, all the way around that diamond. The, Now, I would caution, if you decide to do something like this, it's going to look odd if you have those lines here also. So you could make uh, a diamond inside a diamond, you know, leave a border there. Or you could have, um, you could alternate colors with this. 
it's very adaptable but you do have to think ahead about what colors you're going to use and the placement of your designs so that it all kind of flows together this is where um, a lot of people will draw it out on paper um, or you can uh, use you know if you have some practice eggs you can practice on them you know sometimes my practice eggs don't take dye real well so that's why I'm using them to draw these designs um, if you're going if I'm going to do a large egg like an ostrich egg I always practice on chicken eggs and then goose eggs before I do the pattern on a the, the big egg because I want to make sure I have my color sequences down and all my elements and everything looks nice and balanced before I start to work on the, the bigger egg. And I still will make changes as I do the ostrich egg, but I, I have a pretty good idea of where I'm going. Although sometimes, you know, it will it'll take a completely different direction, but for the most part, I do have a bit of an idea where it's going to go. But again, today's is how to draw this eight-pointed star. Pinwheel, if you want to call it a pinwheel, that's fine too. Uh, it, it's kind of a fun element. I, I like doing them. I think they're 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 a little um, you know they're they're fun to do, and there's so much you can do with them. You could put this here, and then you could do a completely different design here. You could do some other kind of a star here and alternate them. That would look fun as well. So have fun with it. Have a wonderful day. And I will be back next week with another demonstration. If there's something you would like to see, please let me know. And I will be happy to try and do that. Thank you and have a wonderful day.